hello everyone how are you today if this is your first time being here on this channel please hit that subscribe button and those who are always here you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe and support the channel all right in today's video i'm talking about how to import pdf data which is table into excel there are certain times you have found some data in PDF that you want to analyze in Excel, but you don't know how to import it, especially if the data is quite large. So here, this is just a random test that I created in a PDF file. And I just made this little table here just to illustrate how you can import data into Excel from a PDF file. So I'll just go ahead and close this um, PDF file. All right, so I'll be importing this particular data or table into my Excel workbook. So I'll go ahead. So what I what I did is to open a blank Excel workbook. You can see here it's a blank Excel workbook. So I'll just hover my mouse to the ribbon where I have and click on the data data tab by default it comes in uh, to be in the home tab so just hover your mouse and click on the data data tab and where you have the get and transform data group search and you're gonna by the stream stream there you will find the gates data now click the down arrow and there are several places you can get data from from file from database from azure from online services, other sources, combined queries. So remember, I'm getting a file. I'm getting uh, my data from a PDF file, and PDF is a file, so I'm going to choose the first option there, which is from file. So from that point, there are several options as well, which is from workbook, from tests, and all of that. These are several um, files you can, places where you can actually get data from now i want to get a data my data from the pdf so i'll click on that so my dialog box comes out allow me to make search and choose or look for the pdf file where i want to import the data from so fortunately this is the pdf file that i want to insect i want to get my data from so i'll just click on that and click on the button import so this Microsoft Excel Navigator comes out. Excel has finished analyzing my data, which is the PDF file. This is the PDF file. And these are the analysis it got. The table, you saw a table and it also analyzed the, the page itself. Now, if I had, um, okay, let me click on this. Okay, so this is the table that I want. The table in that PDF file. So I can move this across to see the data properly. And here, this one is the page. It also analyzed the page, so I don't need this. All right. So back to the table that it analyzed that I want to import into my Excel. Now, this checkbox here simply means that if I had more than one table in that PDF file, I can go ahead and click on that box and then select the tables that I want to import into PDF file or select the number of items that I want to import into PDF file. So but for this illustration I just need this particular table. All right. So down here I have the load. I can just go ahead click on this load and load this table right into the PD right into the Excel. Now this button here is transform. The transform is just going to allow me to either delete a column or add another column to it. But for this illustration, I will go with the load. So clicking on that particular uh, stuff, it says load to or load or load to. So I'll go with the load. Just click on that load. Okay, so... Here I am. Excel has successfully loaded 
my file or the data into my Excel workbook. You can see that. Now that my data is out of PDF, I can go ahead and make any type of analysis that I want by creating different kinds of chart. So here is my data imported from the PDF file. So it's just the same way, the same thing as it is in the PDF file. I didn't have to copy and paste. All I did was just to import from PDF file. It's that easy. So if this video helped you, you should click the like button and also sus subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel and drop comment in the comment section below. I'll be there to answer your questions and I'll see you in my next video for more tech tips like this.